可。Beautiful skies. You join me in Australia, Phillip Island to be precise, and I've just brought along an Alfa Romeo Giulietta Veloce. And we're in. The interior is just dominated by this pair of seats. They are beautiful to look at and nice to sit in. The trim looks like carbon, but it isn't real carbon fiber, but it's of good quality. This car has been nicely specced. It's got almost everything. Satellite navigation, Bose audio, just to name a few. The mixture of leather and metal in this car makes it a very nice place to be in. First impressions are great and it's time for some driving. Well, I developed a stalking habit. Pretty boy was. Welcome to the Louvre. Here we are in the Great Alpine Road, and the Alpha has done 900 kilometers, and yet it's alive and kicking. If you come over here. There are plenty of details being laid around, which is what I love most about this car. The carbon's light finish is a reminiscence to the Alpha 4C, 
Blue isn't my favorite color, but the shade of this blue is the next level. It complements the smoke wheels extremely well, and so as the grey door wings. As for the rear doors, the hidden handles is something you will see frequently in Japanese marks lately. But you know we started here first. As for the back, I think the exhaust can go an inch wider to complement its bulbous look from behind. Then it'll look perfect. Even the key is nicely designed. Look at that. Giulietta has been around since 2010 and it received a Nippon Tuck at 15. Unfortunately, the quadrifolio is no more, replaced by this, the Voloce. They're basically the same except for not having cloverleaf badges. Engine is the same, gearbox is the same, interior is the same. Most importantly, performance. combination of sport suspension, two gearboxes, Rambo brakes and a supercar engine. On the mountain road, it all sort of falls apart. Despite generous ingredients, the Veloce isn't rewarding drive at 10 tenths. On the contrary, it does daily well. In a special manner, only an alpha can. The cherry exhaust that pops and crackles subtly, and intoxicating induction noise further amplifies the experience. Whenever a golf jet driver gives a thumbs up, or having a stranger walk up telling you have gotten the right car just makes the day. The Gilletta is the only few cars with a beating heart. <laughs> <laughs> 